All right, so I'll start out by saying that I think this is probably the favorite of my decks that I've built on Magic Online. I call it Infinite Elves. Uh, you can get this online for $20.52. Um, it's actually going to be a lot more expensive than that if you were to build this deck on paper right now. Um, and that's one of the huge advantages of playing online. It's that you can have one set of things that you're doing with Paper Magic and you can do a completely different set of things on Magic Online and uh, gives you a little more diverse play experience. Um, after I had put together this deck, I actually found a relatively similar deck on a online on MTG Goldfish called Combo Elves. Um, and that one, even the online version of that one is over $400. So this one is a whole lot less expensive and it's a lot of fun to play. The deck, what it's trying to do, what your pretty much nut draw is, is to put out some ramp, either an Elvish Mystic or Llanowar Elves, and then to put down a Imperious Perfect. Um, and that's going to give you the ability to create Elves uh, just by tapping your creatures. And then if you can ta if you can stick an Intruder Alarm on turn three, you can go infinite. Um, and it'll be the following turn before you can attack, so it's not completely resilient against sweepers and things, but uh, it makes for a turn four kill, which is very passable in modern. Um, I initially had gone all in on some of the infinite synergies with a previous deck. I think I've got it over here called Infinite Horde. Um, that was looking at either making an infinite number of tokens with the combo that I described earlier, or it would also work if you had a Paradox Engine out instead of an Intruder Alarm. Also, the Intruder Alarm and the Paradox Engine worked to make an infinite cycle in connection with Sprout Swarm or Worm Calling. So that original deck had a lot more redundancy, but it was clunkier. It was not as efficient at, at getting started. And if you couldn't assemble the combo, you were dead, and you were usually dead well before you could. Uh, so this deck ended up being a combination of that deck with a Elves deck that I had built previously, which was super budget, uh, mono green. Um, and I think this one gives some of the best of both worlds. Um, the Wolf Skull Shaman is kind of a, a holdover from that uh, previous Elves deck that I had built. And this deck, it's still probably more than 50% Elves, and so... Wolf Skull Shaman ends up getting you a lot of free value in terms of wolves entering the battlefield at the start of your turn. Um, additionally, the Wolf Skull Shaman synergizes with Rise of the Redeemed. He's got the second ability where he's able to copy all of the creature tokens that you've got on the board. And so this is the other uh, infinite combo that comes up in the loop is is Rise of the Redeemed, where you can create elves with him. Um, there are other... Uh, you can also, with Rise of the Redeemed, because you've got the option of copying all your tokens, you can end up going plenty wide to take out your opponent with without the intruder alarm. So you don't have to go completely infinite to go plenty wide. Um, and then the other important piece for going infinite is going to be the Elvish Arch Druid, which not only pumps your whole team, but also is a way to get out a lot of mana on the battlefield. And that 
is one that combos well with Res the Redeemed because it produces enough mana by itself that you don't have to have a whole army of of uh, Elvish Mystics or Land War Elves to go infinite with Rise. Um, something else that I had added a little later to this deck that is very important to it, um, or at least I think it is, is some main board hate for uh, artifacts and for enchantments, because there's not a lot of uh, enchantment removal in a lot of main boards, but you do sometimes see uh, main board stuff from your opponents that's going to be dependent on an enchantment that you won't have an answer to. And so I like having at least one copy of this in the main board, and then I've got additional hate for those things in the sideboard with another Reclamation Sage and some Sundering Growth. Um, honestly, the Reclamation Sage is probably the better option than Sundering Growth for this deck, but uh, that's what I've got in the sideboard right now. Anyways, the game is a lot of fun. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I have, and I will get some, some games up with it in the future.